you have not demonstrated with any evidence what you have said, which is that our Western law is based upon Sharia law. That is nonsense. The Afghans didn't run to Saudi Arabia. They ran to the West because Western law is better than Sharia law. It is a, it is a, it is, it is. Apparently, for fi 500 years ago, we didn't even have a language here. Arrogance and ignorance. Islam, by contrast, just to demonstrate how wrong you are. Islam, by contrast, has no concept of a nation state. It has no concept. It believes in an ummah and it believes in a caliphate. My problem with it, and that's a very important part that happens a lot and is mistaken a lot, is your translation is wrong. Okay, right, so. When you get, you know, no, you can show me all those stupid yeah. dumb pictures, but you have no source. <laughs> I have Islamic sources are stupid and dumb. We totally agree. And notice also yeah. that all the Muslims in this park pushing Sharia law, yeah. they're not running to Sharia law countries. They're not. They're staying here. Yeah. Yeah. Because Sharia is so great, yeah. they want to stay as far away from it as they possibly can. Okay. And the reason why is because our codification of law is better than Islamic law. Go on, madam. There is a Sharia law. This they used it actually. It started from Sharia law. Where? where? The Netherlands, UK actually also. The, sh the, the Sharia law. You're it's saying that the, the governing law is principle. Based on Sharia law, so I don't know why you're claiming. I'm afraid, madam, that you just don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm afraid you don't know. What you're so, so about. please tell me, Sharia law in this country. You're saying that our law is based on yeah, Sharia law. Actually, can you, oh. can you, can you demonstrate the principles that show? that in Saxon law, Saxon, in fact, let me just ask you a basic question. Do you even know when Saxon law began? This, this is the history, no, no, it's okay, uncle. This is the history of my people. When, when did our legal system begin? Actually, in the middle, in the, in the, in the beginning of the Netherlands. Now we're talking about England. I'm talking about the Netherlands. You, you, you said England and Netherlands. I mean Western countries. That includes England. Yeah, but um, my, the base of is most of them are based on the Sharia law. Actually. Right. Prove uh, it. M okay. Not, uh, jury. Jury. <laughs> uh, Female genital mutilation is. No, no, uncle. It's all right, Islam. uncle. Uncle, it's okay. Let the lady Under speak, Sharia uncle. Law. Uncle, let the lady speak. Go on. Napoleon, uh, what's, what's his name? I'm sorry, I'm very bad at names. It's okay. The, the, the Napoleon or something? Napoleon. Napoleon, thank you. Right. My bad okay. Things. He, when he saw it actually in the West, in the Middle East and stuff, he saw the Sharia law and it interested him. Okay. So he took it with him yeah. to the Western countries and actually yeah. based it on the rules on the Sharia law. Okay, can I reply to that? Of course. Because what you're saying is a historical nonsense. Uh, it's actually yeah, it's, no, 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 hold on one second. The French Revolution. The French Revolution happened before Napoleon came to power and Napoleon established the Republic and the laws of the Republic before he invaded Egypt. He didn't go on some like holiday to Egypt or holiday to the, the, the Middle East and then bring back Sharia law. Well, the, the Enlightenment, no, the Enlightenment, the Enlightenment idea is an eternal European idea. It is not something that is built on Sharia. I don't know where you've got this myth from, but it is complete myth. It's a history. Then, then they have, then they have lied to you, madam. It's simply a lie. Well, these facts are straight because Napoli, when he came to Egypt, and you say Napoleon. he doesn't bring Napoleon. Thank you. Um, when he came to Egypt, he took a lot of things with he him. He conquered Egypt. Yeah, but he at least as well took a lot of ideas. Yeah, he took Every a lot of loot. Every revolution actually took always things with it. So how are you surprised that about Napoleon that? Napoleon was arguing. Shall I tell you what? Let me demonstrate that you don't know what you're talking about. Napoleon argued for the idea of a nation state. This contradicts entirely. This contradicts entirely. You see, she's not even listening. She's not even listening. She, she wanted to have a conversation, she's not even listening. I'm listening. Well, right, so Napoleon wanted to establish the idea of a constitutional nation state in which citizens reduced their religion to the private sphere and then behaved according to secular law in the public sphere. That was the principles of the Republic. Islam, by contrast, just to demonstrate how wrong you are, Islam, by contrast, has no concept of a nation state. 
It has no concept. It believes in an ummah and it believes in a caliphate. So where, how do you say that the idea of a secular republic is something that was borrowed from the Islamic world? Do you know what the word ummah means, sir? Yeah, it means people. To how people? Uh, people defined by their religious identity. Not only that. Yeah. Ummah also means a group that is well put together and is here for each other. Brilliant. Okay. And how does that demonstrate that the idea of a secular republic, a secular republic is antithetical to the idea of a caliphate, you actually. Is Shia Ummah or a Muslim? Well, it's a good. It's, it's a question. Which kind of Ummah are we talking about first? Which kind of? Are we talking about Shia Ummah or Sunni Ummah? Or Wahhabi Ummah or a Marzai Ummah? Sunni Ummah. What kind of Ummah are you talking about? Let, let, the ladies, yeah. let, 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 let the ladies speak. Let, let, let the ladies speak. Napoleon, Napoleon. 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 Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wanted the nation as well with the principles of an ummah. Right. No. 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 He he wants. So, but what you've got, what you failed to do, is to demonstrate how those ideas came from the Islamic world. Because that's your thesis. That's your argument. No. But he didn't get that from Egypt because what Islam teaches and what the Napoleon, the the, the Republicans of the French Revolution, yeah, um, taught was the idea that religion should be private and should not dominate the state. Now, Islam, by contrast, says that Sharia law should dominate the state. Now, you have heard a rhetoric from a lecturer and they have lied to you and misled you in an ahistorical fashion. Because, I don't know, they, I, don't, I don't know why they've sought to do that. I don't, they're either ignorant themselves or they're misinformed themselves. But I'm telling you, you're factually wrong. Actually, no. I think you should do your research upon this uh, I, I, teacher. Okay, so, so your, your, your teacher is wrong and I'll He's debate him. Teacher, I'll actually, debate him. Help. I'll debate him. Even, Great. Even so, tell, but one, one, uncle. Is wrong. Uncle, please. Uncle. Is wrong. Please, uncle. Yes. Um, what do you want to say, sir? Your understanding about Ummah is wrong. Explain. Wrong because uh, you Muslims are divided in 73 sects. More. More. And Christianity. And more. And, 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 and you religion. are coming here and telling us uh, that you Muslims are Ummah. Yeah. Whereas uh, Shias are different, Sunnis are different, Wahhabis, Wahhabis are different, Mirzais are different. Spubs. Uh, look. Many, <laughs> many, 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 many. Yeah. 70, 73. Okay, let her reply. It's about the 73 and everything, but yeah. it's true with the Christianity. Oh, no, 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 uncle, uncle, uncle. We don't call ourselves. Uncle, no, uncle, no. let her speak. Let her speak. No, don't misunderstand us. Uncle, let her speak. I mean, in all the religions, there's around 70 or more differences. That's just human. The fact that we so want to. One will be no, no, let her speak, we uncle. Let her speak. We want to be focused on a good thing. Let her have an ummah. Doesn't mean that you can have everyone do or say or listen or, you know, be with what you would like to achieve. That's the imperfection of being. Sister, may, may I reply? What, what's your name? Just Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, um, I, I just want to return to the point. So, firstly, I just want to say as a side note. Islam has more than 73 sects. The prophecy of Muhammad was wrong. He said that the Ummah would divide into 73 sects, but the reality is there's more than 73 sects and it doesn't matter how you cut it, there's more than 73. So Muhammad just prophesied wrong, full stop. But I wanna come back to this idea of our law is based on Sharia law because this is utter nonsense. Let me, let me, just, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, uh, like, you, you, yeah, I mean, you, you should because the fact is, the, the Enlightenment philosophers that established the Republican ideology of the First Republic were more inspired by Greco-Roman paganism than they were by anything else. They were even more inspired by Greco-Roman paganism than they were by Christianity. They were actually an anti-Christian movement. That's what the Enlightenment was, a reaction to Christianity. In this country, because you also said this country as well, Everything, which is why I knew I was wrong. Yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is utter nonsense. nonsense. Utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. So, so for example, let's take the Holy Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. The Ro Holy Roman Empire, which was something that was conquered by uh, Napoleon on his on, uh, in his fight against Prussia. Mm -hmm. um, the Holy Roman Empire was was based upon. A, a vision, a, 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 a communion of two things. Well, three things. 
Greek philosophy, Roman law, Christian theology. And the, the principles of a Christian state are very different from an Islamic state. So, and I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. So, within a Christian state, the institution of the church and the institution of the state sit separately. They work together. They're meant to work together. And they're both meant to be filled with Christians. But in Islam, the, the, there is firstly no idea of a church-state separation. You believe that they're one and the same thing. In the Christian faith, we believe that our, our faith should be lived out publicly. But the, the Republicans of the Enlightenment believe that faith should be relegated to something private and individual. The church believes in collectivism. The Republican ideology believed in individual rationalism. Now, demonstrate to me that they got that idea of the individual rational being who re precludes faith to the private sphere from Islam. Show me in Islam where that idea comes from, because I'm telling you it doesn't come from Islam. It comes from, in the Enlightenment, philosophers. You could just accept you're wrong, that your lecturer misled you. I'm very sure actually he's not wrong because I know his facts. So, so what evidence did he give you? What evidence did he give you? Well, in, especially in the Netherlands, are based upon rules. So, I mean, there's obviously some message probably knocking me at this point that's just been passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably some insulting message that's no, just been passed between them. Don't assume. Yeah, I, I, I am assuming. What, what did it say? What did yeah, it say? What does it say? The jury is taken from the law of yeah. Islam. Jury. Yeah. Right, you see, that's, not that's true. can I just kind of. The jury, Plato and the Republic yeah. talks about the ten men of the jury. Pagans had, pagans had before no, Islam. No, but no, no. No, bro, I'm sorry. Have I'm you sorry. read Plato? Yeah. Sorry. Have you read Plato? Yes, yes or no? No. No. Okay, I could tell. Because if you, if you, Plato in the Republic talks about the judge, and he talks about, he talks about the judge being, hopefully being a philosopher, and having ten men, he describes ten men of philosophical training as a jury that would then come, come with a decision. decision. This is in the Republic. This is before even our Lord was born. This is before Jesus Christ. This so, is so, so, so can, I, can we just say to you, the, the reason why Muslims, like yourself, are trying to claim the heritage that doesn't belong to you and are trying to claim every good idea as being an Islamic one is based on three things. Irri sorry, two, two principal things. Ignorance combined with arrogance. You think, you just stated because he showed you a little text message. I have not even yeah. no, no, you, no, no, let me no, finish. No, 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 you you just finish. said no, no, that the jury up. came Don't, from Islam. No, no, that is a lie. I have not said anything that is a lie. Do you, but do you agree no, no, with it? Listen, do you agree with it? I have not it? said anything about it. No, you should not assume. Do you agree with it? I'm asking maybe, you. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, but you I'm asking you, do you agree with it? Can I just quickly point out? Can I just quickly point out that Plato calls this the Council of Ten? Yeah, thank you. Let, let, let us speak. Go on. Is it nonsense? Islam is definitely not based on arrogance. It's definitely yes, not it based is. on... Yeah, it is. No, it definitely yeah, it is. It definitely it's is. actually the most opposite of it at all. So why, 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 why... Ignorance is how you actually Sir, can, you should have respect for all people from religion. That's not what your Quran says. It does. It's not Show what your Quran me. says. What type of Quran do you have? The Quran, uh, an Islamic Quran. It was the same one. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the reality is, you, you're, you're, the, 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 what, no, it's uncle. Then you've translated let, let it wrong. I can, how is it in the same Quran? It's always better if we have a, it, 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 yeah, it is, it's, 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 it's produced, no, no, no. it's, produ it's by Muslims, look, it's so translated so by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Yeah, but yeah. that's that, not the translator I use. Well, who, which translation do you use? He's not, Abdullah Yusuf Ali is Yeah, he, he's not. Okay, in this, in this, in this translation, in the, in this translation, it calls Christians the worst of creatures. No, and that's not, that's not how we interpret it. So, so when you, that's what it says. That's what it says. Yeah. Sister, I'm a Christian. Yeah. I can tell about Jesus. You understand? I can simply open it. No, now he mentioned that. You say that. Show him in your Quran. I'm not. You can't, you can't English, English, but let me, let me so tell you. Go on. Let, let the lady speak. Please let the lady speak. Go on. Quran and religion in itself is. Based upon respect, we have to, you can not know, but I definitely am sure that it is. Yeah, it's not you our experience. It's not our experience. Can, I've read the Quran. Well, experience is different. People are imperfect. I'm talking about 14, I'm 1400 years of experience.
but then you don't live 1400 years to tell me something like the that. The church has its history. Yeah, listen, you are so wrong in so many factors. It's literally amazing. Prove, amazing. Prove, we feel so prove him to be wrong. Prove him to be wrong. Okay. Right, Wait, go on, I'm finish your point. Yes, yeah. thank you. Sorry, go on, let, let, let her finish your point. Why are you here? Yeah. I apologize for interrupting well, you, please, go on, you finish your point. Please, no, madam. You have interrupted ten because times. Because madam, let, let, let her finish your point. Everybody yeah. Talk. Yeah. Madam, yeah. madam, yeah. miss, okay, miss. Okay, y'all shut up, I swear I will go. Miss, miss, finish your point, go on. Let her finish your point. I don't know what type of interpretation you use, but in the baseline of every Islamic person, you have to be respecting towards everyone's deen. You do you, I do me. And, um, Can you no, let her finish her point. Go on, sorry. <laughs> let her finish her point. Let her finish her point. Go on. But verily, verily, I said to you that only Islam will be accepted to you. Yes, so but it doesn't mean that we should not respect each other. Yes, it does. No, it does not. By default, Even, it does. Let me tell... The, well, <laughs> the thing okay, is, we, we're start. getting off the point. I'm trying to come back to the point that we, we were talking you, about wait, in wait, terms wait, of Islamic law and so Western law. Your point, no, no. your point now towards yes. me was one thing. Yeah. People who are Muslim are ignorant... No, I didn't say that. No, I said that your statements and the statements that Muslims make when they try to claim even things like juries that even Plato was talking about before Islam are Islamic and we got them from Islam is a statement based on ignorance and arrogance combined. Ignorance we call and them arrogance. Kitab. Tell him we call them Ahli Kitab. We never call them any, anything else. Let's no. say about jewelry. It's an immaterial thing we don't care about at the end of the day. First of all, ignorance, and I will tell you, and I'll tell you ten times, ignorance and arrogance are two things that separate you from being. The more you are looking towards that and being selfish, yeah. you are not working as a Muslim person. Yeah. You are not working correctly. And it's normal to be imperfect, and it doesn't mean that it's good, but it happens a lot. We are all imperfect. This world would have not existed if there was always all imperfect uh, perfect okay, people. Madam, let me, let me reply to what you're saying. Not yet. yet. Go on, I'm not finish finished. your point, yeah. So, that's the beginning of it all. This world, this dunya, would have not been here if it was imp if it was perfect. Would have never been here. Yeah. This all has been a test. The more you've been ignorant, we call it having a stone heart. That yeah. means that you're separated from your deen. Yeah. The more that you are opening to working to help everyone. Even with something called zakat. Do you know what zakat is? Yeah, it's that charity. Especially it's to tax. people who doesn't even have to be... It's a redistributed okay, tax. Okay, yeah, but why do we have to do so? It's a rule, because you're commanded to. Yeah, but why are we commanded to? Because Allah commands it in His Quran. But you're, are you yeah, but aware? One second, one second, one second, one second, one right. second. Like, like if you're gonna if you're gonna bring up zakat, let's just point out that firstly, the first generation of Muslims didn't even know it was a, a pillar of Islam because you fought an entire civil war, an entire civil we war on the fact that on the fact that yeah. there were a whole group of Muslim tribes that thought that zakat was just a personal pledge to Muhammad, and that no. after he died, it was not due to be given no. to his successor. How is that that's that's a that's a fact. No, That's a fact. No, no, no. Muslims that's didn't that's even lie. agree. Muslims did Lift not more. even Lift agree. Lift the first generation of Muslims. Madam, 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 madam. I've tried to defend your right to speak, and I apologize for interrupting you because I did do it myself. But let's try and have a calm conversation. The reality is that the first generation of Muslims weren't even sure that zakat was a part of their deen. But I want to go off all these red herrings and get back to the main point, which is that you have made a factually false claim and you have not demonstrated with any evidence what you have said, which is that our Western law is based upon Sharia law. Nonsense. That is nonsense. It is historical nonsense and it comes from two places, ignorance combined with arrogance. Yeah. Because you're trying to say that that things things like this this bro showed you a little thing saying the jury system came from Islam. But if anyone reads Plato's writings, we know that the pagans were having juries even before Christianity. Christians have their own system of law. We base it on the Ten Commandments. That's where Christian law begins. Can you show me the Ten Commandments in the Quran? It's not there. Okay, let's look at the Ten Commandments in the Quran. All right, this will be funny. 
Can you? Can, can we start with? Let, let's go through them one at a time. Do you know the Ten Commandments? I just, I just want to, I just want to ask you this question. Do you know what the Ten Commandments are? Yes. Right. What is the first commandment? I don't remember by name, but I know what they are and what they are. Okay. So, so just roughly, in your own words, what's the first commandment? Okay, she doesn't know what the Ten Commandments are. You ask me one thing. Yeah. Don't assume. Okay. That's the bad one. Okay, just tell me in your own words what's the first commandment. I'm not, no, don't ask me 20 things. I'm now relying on a fact that okay. you said give me your facts. So, so show me in the Quran the Ten Commandments. One second. Bro, have you got, uh, if I give you my Bible, can we pull up the Ten Commandments? Yeah, it's in... Um, Exodus chapter 20. Would it be fairer to ask her if she can name, say, three of them or something as a starting point? I've asked her to name the first one. Yeah. Yep. So, we're going we're to see that the Ten Commandments are not in the Quran. Everyone knows this. Yeah. I don't understand why she's even looking for it. Exodus 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second book of uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We put it together. I am not a Roman Catholic, but I love my Roman Catholic brothers and sisters. <laughs> right. Madam, are you ready? So, oh, is this Quran? This is a Quran, yeah. <laughs> That's why not. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to see Ten Commandments in the Quran. Because the, the, the reason why I say this, madam, the reason why this is an important point, is because when Alfred the Great established Saxon law, the first of his commandments, the first of his laws, were the Ten Commandments. And in every Christian civilization, the Ten Commandments are always the starting point of Christian law. In every Christian society, from Armenia to Ethiopia to Germ to the Holy Roman Empire to, to Catholic Spain, Italy, Greece, the Ten Commandments appear in all of them. You're making the claim that our legal system is based on Sharia law, so please show me the Ten Commandments in the Quran. No, you can't because that's not the there. point I'm making. You said we don't. I, my my answer to you was the Netherlands and like your countries that were yeah. true to the revolution used the Sharia law. But you can't prove that either. I am proving to you. Just okay. One second, because I. So are, are you saying that we can't find the Ten Commandments in the Quran? Should we put that idea to bed? I am not focused with that one at all. Well, Don't, no, no, no. You no, said you're changing the subject. Madam, I am not changing. Madam, I'm not changing we're talking it. about we're talking about your false claim that our Western law is based on Sharia law. Yeah. And I am I am asking you to give me evidence. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Have patience. Okay. So, so, and one of the questions that I made was that the Ten Commandments are not in the Quran, but they are in the Bible. And you said they are in the Quran. And no, I, I said, not. well, the, anyone who watches this on camera will, will yeah, decide. Yes, okay. So that's why so you does went a, to find it. Does, a, yeah. does okay. a, uh, yeah. a Western law says that female genital mutilation is a halal thing? No, of course not. Does a Western law says that... Uh, uh, it's not halal in Islam. Huh? It's not even halal in Sharia It's okay. not halal. It's, it's, a, it's, in, it's a halal in Sharia law. Okay, so, okay. so uncle, pull up the proof. Pull up the, pull, up the pull up the hadith. Pull up the proof. Pull up the proof. Christian, they mean is that they believe that one man. What about the Okay. okay. So, so yeah, that, this is a perfect example. In in Western law. Up until, up, and still at the moment, I mean, I mean, it probably will change because of the atheist progressives, but in Western law currently, in, across the Western world, uh, monogamy is the standard definition of marriage. Is that Islamic? No, it isn't. Okay, in Western law, in Western law, the idea that the... Um, Let's, let's think of another example. The inheritance. Yeah, in the, the idea of inheritance. In Western law, men and women can e equally inherit from their fathers. Is that an Islamic law? I am still, if you just really, you keep on talking and I kept telling you, just have a second. Okay, so, so just to be clear, that's not Islamic either because women can't inherit as much as men do in Islam. What about women? 
What about adoption? In, 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 in Western law, while, while you're finding your thing, I'm just giving examples. No, no, she's finding her examples. I'm give. No, no, one second. One second. We're having a nice, calm conversation. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Guys, calm down. Guys, calm down. Sorry. One second. In in thank you. In Western law, adoption is a thing that is legally permissible. In Islam, adoption doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Sorry, hold on, you're finding your proofs. Right. Now we talked about we talked about we talked about listen female genital mutilation. Well as I say, Bob. In Al Tamid twenty one sixty and in Al Mugni one sixty three. It says in the fatwa of Al Lajna Al Dani Da Ima. Forgive me for those who are Arabic speakers, I'm not a native speaker. Listen. Thus it is clear that the Fuqaha of Islam are agreed that circumcision is prescribed for both males and females. So females is halal in Islam. Thank you. There's your evidence. Thank you. Thank you. See the source. She's the it's reference. It's this reference is there. Yeah. You can deny it, but we've referenced it. This is the reference. Yeah. You are you have literally no power to reference. These are Muslims writing about female genital mutilation. Muslims are writing this. Muslims are. This is a Muslim source. This is a Muslim source. This is a Muslim source. There were juries before Islam. There were juries before Islam. There are juries before Islam. Guys, stop shouting. I Stop mean, shouting. Let the lady speak. Let the lady speak. The, the picture that you... No, no, no Muslim. It's a fatwa. Yeah, no, any it's a Muslim fatwa Ooh. by a Muslim. We, we, the reference is there. Me, Look, madam, the reference is there. The reference is there. Yeah. Who yeah. referenced it? Look. Look, no, Muslim. I want it's in. Yeah, my father is a Muslim. It's but he in. Yeah, yeah. Think madam, about it. madam, yeah. madam. Yeah. We've provided our evidence. You, you can dismiss no, it if you, you want to. What is the Muslim? So no, have no, you no, got? No, uh, no, madam, no, stop no, shouting no, in the no, lady's no, ear. Everybody, Listen. stop shouting in the lady's ear. Really Let her speak. Go on. I don't give a damn that he's Muslim. My question was, who translated it? Okay. My dad can translate, but he will be ten times wrong. And not anyone can I'm translate the sure. Quran. It is translated so, right. no by Muslim. Show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. But Muslim, that's good. Madam, all that required. I can ask him madam, to translate. Madam, he will be Muslim you're tomorrow. A, madam, good? madam, madam, you're offended by the evidence. No, I'm not offended. I mean, you you're don't offended not by the evidence. Offended, offended. Not, you're offended listen, by your. The evidence. People can research it themselves whether Islamic jurists have said that female ge genital mutilation is halal and they will discover that they have. You have a screenshot of a weird of a picture. You could have translated and you could have said, yeah, Muslim one did it translated. Answer my question for the 10th. Sorry, have you got any evidence to your claim that Western law is built on Islam? No. Sorry, now you have been pushing something in my face and saying, oh, it's halal to that's the circumcision for females. It's not halal at all. So yeah. instead of to making some, my point to some and Muslims, showing me it clearly some facts, is. show me where you got the facts from. So here let's, we go. Let's read. Uh, Whoa, the Twitter. Other, other. Mashallah, Twitter. We're going to use Twitter now as our facts? Let's Let's use Wikipedia as well. Okay, I wouldn't, Sir, I wouldn't use that as an evidence, this. Uncle. I wouldn't use that as an evidence. It's just a yeah, Twitter screenshot. You yeah. Yeah. It's a shaitan. So this, yeah. this is a Muslim lady. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this so is a Muslim lady but, and well-known lady. Yeah. Well-known. Yeah. She is well-known. She is Madam. Muslim. Madam. Well-known lady. Madam. And she is saying. Yeah, but that. She is saying. Madam. Are you, are you wanting to come with your evidence? My question. I have to ask it to you. I like tenth time. Who translated? You can tell me. What, what, can you find a bit better translation? Yes, sure. Go on then, please. Okay. So, so the point is, let, let's just while while you're finding your evidence, let let's just go through from the beginning what the lady's claim was. For everyone, I want to catch everyone up who's come late. You're, no, no, no. You're finding you're finding your evidence. So the lady made the claim. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. 
doesn't um, matter. The lady so, made the so, claim. Oh, God, right. Uh, so, oh, have you found your evidence? No, but let me oh, go on. Okay. Go on, speak. Here is another one. <laughs> Go on. Your translations. There is a very big problem with me, which, the, and it's not because of the circumcision part. My problem with it, and there's a very important part that happens a lot and is mistaken a lot, is your translation is wrong. Okay, oh. right. So when you get, you know, no, you can show me all those stupid, yeah. dumb pictures, but you have no source. <laughs> I Islamic sources are stupid and dumb. We totally agree. Islamic sources are stupid and dumb. We totally agree. Excuse me for my language, but I'm, I'm telling you. Who's that? Yeah, Imam, you can write who? Down who? Imam who? Who's that? But it is not your source. Who's that? Bukhari. This Imam is not Bukhari. Your source. Imam Bukhari. Yeah. Oh, Bukhari. Bukhari. I think your sources are. Imam Bukhari, twelve forty-five. He is dumb. Bukhari. Imam Bukhari, twelve forty-five. An old woman from Kufa, the grandmother of Ali, yeah. reported that Um Al Mujha said. I was captured with some girls from Byzantium. Okay. Yeah. Uthman offered us Islam, yeah. but only myself and one other girl accepted Islam. Praise be to those that rejected okay. and stayed faithful to Christ. <laughs> Uthman said, go and circumcise them and purify them. Uh. That is speaking of women. women. Uh. That's female uh. genital uh. mutilation. Uh. In the hadith, uh, in uh, Imam Bukhari, uh, Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Uh, so, uh, female uh, genital mutilation uh, is permissible uh, in Islam. Uh, uh, in Allah. Uh, in Allah. Right. Allah. Okay, what's your Bob. name? And here you can call me Bob. Bob? Here you can call me Bob. Okay, Bob. this is how you are Bob. treating Bob. My, my religion, okay? <laughs> okay. And I want you to no, understand... No, 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 your religion is treating you. Let us speak, let us speak. He is not doing. Let us speak. He's not. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Let us speak. Your religion is treating... To you, miss. Where you talk? 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 Miss. He no, talk, I will no, talk no, when he talk. I will talk. Let, let, let her speak. Let her speak. Okay, go ahead. Please, you know we won't get anywhere. Listen, right. if you keep screaming in my ear, I swear to God, don't I will talk. Don't speak to him, don't speak to him. Let's have respect in this conversation for Please. each other, okay? Thank you very much. That includes Sir, the guy that's understand? just said, hold on one second. Yeah. He's just said, let's smack him across the face. No, no, no. That's what he just said. Oh, let's we'll smack no, no. him across the face. We will talk. No, no, no. Respect means respect, guys. Yeah, all right. All right, little fuck. Boy. Yes, yes, all right, little fat boy. Threatening an old man. Look at you, you clown. Look at you, you clown. Why you throwing claims? Go on. I'm not mad at anything. Okay, I want to say one thing because everyone keeps interpreting yes. and then I'll be leaving because I'll, sure. I'll get your point, whatever you'll ask. Okay? That's fair enough, yeah. One last thing. Go on. Your name was Bob, right? That's the name I use. I will here, make yeah. a good example of how you treat my religion. Okay? Go on, go on. Double, double, double. I will, let's say, I will have here. Yeah, let the lady speak, man. Let's say, let's say I have a source here, a screenshot, yeah. like you do. Yeah. I'll write down your name and yep. say, yeah. Christianity is the most dumbest thing ever. And yeah. le okay, let's say an example. Of yeah, course, yeah. Huh? Like when the Quran says Christians are the worst of creatures. Oh. Yeah, let's yeah, use that as an you example. You can see it. Currently have the you source. Yeah. But every time I ask you for your source, you show me a weird ass screenshot. So do you want me to show you in the Quran? I'm not finished with my point yet, sir. Yeah. Can you finish me? Yeah, go on. Okay, thank you, you very much. Shown us how is the Western and if you let me talk and not stop, Syria and if you stop talking, yeah, we know. then we know. I'll start Okay, sorry. Let us speak. Let us finish your point. Your sources are weak. And yeah. for, our in, for us in religion, any translation you have, it's very important to know where your translation is from. Okay. In hadith as yep. well, even yep. what we call is something called the weak hadith. 
we are supposed to follow the strongest one. Yeah. And how are we know? How do we know when it's the strongest one? When all our facts are being checked upon and are hundred percent clear, then we know it's a strong hadith. Yeah. In Quran as well, mm -hmm. when we are trying to translate, what is the, what is not recommended Scholar. to know an English translation? Yeah. It's not preferred. You can use the English, uh, Arabic translation, but you have to go to a sheikh that is familiar and has studied the yep. Quran to then give you the translation. Okay. You've been showing me three screenshots or two screenshots yep. with someone's name on it. Yep. Yeah, I can write your name on something and yep. tell you that's the same screenshot okay. and it's proven. So yeah. Yeah. Not, uh, but you keep showing me this and you keep telling me and keep even sense. defining with some bad words about yeah. my religion and then I'm telling me, yeah, that's how my religion is. Well, yeah. I keep telling you that it's not so how religion okay. is. Uh, is no, no, no. Okay. I am not finished yeah, yet. Yeah, okay. Then Talk. stop talking, please. Again, everything when we study upon is, yeah, there is the differences, but that's about because men are imperfect and yeah. we continuously make mistakes like you do. Yeah. Because we are all human to do and make those mistakes. Yeah. It's very important to know in all those cases that when you want to know a fact that you should go to the right sheikh and the right person to understand mm -hmm. and get this information from. Yeah. I can give you those sources and I can tell you for sure that those are very fair, verified people. Okay. But you should not give me a screenshot and tell me that's a fact okay. and scream in my ear mm -hmm. with all the disrespect and tell me, yeah, if you don't really care, yeah, yeah. that's the most biggest nonsense in the whole world. It's okay, it's okay. Sir, okay. I, I, I cannot Next Sunday, bring yeah. your sheikh here. No, 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 it's okay, let us speak. Let us speak. Next, Next Sunday, Sunday, bring your sheikh here. We're all on the same side, guys. So we will we all agree the lady should be allowed to speak. We're all agreed. This is Christian chivalry. Well done, well done. Let, let the lady speak. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. More Second manners, point. more manners that the Muslims show to the Christian women in the park. Besides, you can tell me 20 times things, 20 yeah. different things about religion and tell yeah. me, yeah, that is a fact. Yeah. But I've continuously asked you, what's your source? Yeah. You've just written down You're someone's imam's subject. name and yeah. you have even... Bukhari is not a source? Let her speak, uncle. <laughs> Go on. This is how many times. Sir. It's a source, sir. That's a good question to make. But I can write everyone's name and I don't, can write your name and tell point. you what's your name. Don't get off your point. Don't get off your point. And my point is very clear. You yeah. can scream in my ear like everyone here did and tell me female genitalia is haram, that people are ignorant in the deen, but I can tell you and I can bury it with all my verified heart I can tell you. Ignorance and arrogance. Yeah. Mm. If you are like that, we call it having a stone heart, mm. which means that you are very separated from your deed. Okay. Yeah. And that happens, right? Yeah. And materialistic, uh, materialistic things separates you every time from your deed. Yeah. That's why this dunya, with all the imperfect people, which is, makes it so amazing, amazing, is a big ass test. It's to test you if you can still stay with your deen, give the money to people who are needed, Stop and especially to people who are not Muslim. It states in the Quran that even when you are Sorry, sorry. It's okay when he does it. No. It's okay when he does it. Ironically, that's why. You have zakat. You said it's, it's important and it's we, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says so. Why do you think he says something like this? Just for fun? It's okay. like, oh, we have to take 2.5% for people's money just for fun? No, of course not. It's because it's not your money. It's money you've earned. You have to give it away to people who yep. are also in need. Yep. And then you have something called sadaqah. Sadaqah is even preferred when people who are... I'm not done okay. with Okay, Ma madam. Like, no, this is got, no, 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 hold on one second. Let's have a conversation. I will finish my sentence yeah. and then you'll start okay, to ask on, your question because you finish, continuously on, interrupt finish me. Your sentence, and it's very disrespectful yeah. at some point. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, but that's yeah. how it works. It is, it is, it is how it works here. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Um, Go on. Again, Sadaka and everything you said, yeah, we should not prioritize people who are Muslim. Well, it's actually, we should we should respect Muslims and people who are not Muslim. Wait, I'm not finished what I'm, I'm what sorry, I meant. I didn't say that. My point was, you said that we disrespect Christians and uh, Christian people, I'm sorry for my yeah. um, but in the in, most in the contrary, actually, we should respect everything. Yeah, I have my own religion, yeah. you have your own religion. Yep. Yep. Yes, that's very true. Yep. But it never meant that we should not respect any one of them. So, so allow me to reply. You said you were going to finish a sentence, yeah, and not and another sentence paragraph, right? Finished, so, yeah. so, no, hold on one second. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not. I'm kept on talking to the camera and tell show me so, fake sources. Because no, you, no, 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 hold on one second. You were saying, you were saying that you, you have made a claim. No, you've made a claim. I am going to make this last statement. No, no, no. But that your statement is just going on to another. Another statement and another statement. I am not done madam, talking. no, I'm sorry, madam. I'm but you're, but, but, but the thing is, so sorry, madam. The thing is, in a conversation, in a conversation, in a conversation, in a conversation, it is a two-way thing. I know, but the thing is, no, no, no. One second. No, oh, oh, it's a, not a conversation. Is it your monologue? Is it not? Is it a monologue? Well, you kept starting to talk and coming out of Madam, you you made a claim. You you made a claim. You made a claim that was factually 
false. No, it's not factually false. It is factually false. And you have provided zero evidence. You tell, you tell zero me evidence to I all of your claims. She, she's Can you show me? Show me. You blamed her own. You cannot. I got it from Saudi Arabia. Uh, like, you are not the, the, the thing is, madam, you, you're not you're not finishing your point. You're just going from point to point to point to point to point. That's how this whole right. conversation you're so, trying to assume to me that has been exactly. going. You've you, continued you've got, every two yes. minutes, exactly. have been you've stating got every to, time a new fact, yes. and then I should be responding, and then you'll but, say, but you haven't yeah. responded yeah. to any. You haven't. You haven't. You made a thesis. Exactly. Your a thesis, thesis was. Your thesis was that Western law was built on Islamic law, and I asked you for evidence, and you have provided zero evidence to this claim I and I have demonstrated <laughs> through dem examples in history yes. that Europe has its own tradition of law now that is not a factually disputable claim. Five hundred years. It is a. It is a. It is. It is. Apparently, for five five hundred years ago, we didn't even have a language here. <laughs> Arrogance <laughs> and <laughs> ignorance <laughs> underpin these where, kinds where of statements. What the language was Shakespeare speaking five hundred years ago? <laughs> My gosh! Where did he learn? These are the where? kinds of arrogant, no, ignorant statements <laughs> that are being made in the past. Yeah. Did he okay. Because, a because, 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 amongst all too many, all too many Muslims in the park, there is a supremacist mindset that, that Islam is superior. And the reality is that we have our own traditions of law in the West. And Muslims are voting with their feet. It isn't that there's mass migration to Saudi Arabia. The Afghans didn't run to Saudi Arabia. They ran to the West. Because Western law is better than Sharia law. And the facts demonstrate that. The facts demonstrate that. If we can, can we do it time? It, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to talk with you, but if you're just going to do a long monologue, then I have to interrupt you. I don't speak English very well. Okay, now, so notice how they interrupted, no, and you were totally no, fine with them interrupting. That's him. That's him interrupted. I I, did I call him out on it? Yeah, no, you yeah, didn't. Yes, I, I did. You. I did. I did. I did. It's on camera. I told it's on you. Camera. I told you stop it's on him, camera. and you didn't. But I'm waiting for you as soon as you did. Did you call out this little punk when he threatened to punch an old man? As soon as you told him. When he threatened to punch an old man. No way. Where was your justice then? Because he was. When little wannabe jihadi he threatened to punch an old man. As soon as you talk, I will talk because you didn't stop him. Oh, now, now he's quiet. You now he's quiet. quiet. I, will, I will be quiet when she talks. Being polite, sir. If you ask and don't scream in someone's ear like you just now do, then you get someone. I've got to raise my voice if people aren't having a conversation. I just did, yeah, I raised my yeah, voice. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. not only raise your voice, you've been even cursing out people and saying that jihad is that respectful. He threatened to punch an old man, is that all right? Oh. Are you defending a, a, a man that threatened to punch an old man? He threatened to punch an old man. That's what he did. And he's just said it again. He's just said it again. But they, have you not got a problem with that? Can I talk have you not got a problem with that? Where is the old man? Where is the old man? Talk to him. And who's the old man? Yeah. Where, where is the old man? This is the devil. It's not the old man. This is the devil. And the devil have become a Muslim. According to Muhammad. Western law is based on Sharia law. It's a lie. Western law is based on the Enlightenment which emerged out of a Christian paradigm. That's the reality of our civilization. And people that claim, as this lady has, that Sharia law is the root of Western law, and he's saying yes, are making a claim based about out of arrogance and ignorance. People in the West need to rediscover their own history. Because if you don't learn your history, others will kidnap your history for you. What university was in England, the, 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 uh, the first university? Tell me. Tell me. Go on. Go on. Okay, sir.
before you start screaming again and telling me that we are not the interpreting the last before. This is the worst conversation going on. Before the war is last. Say about this and everything, but you keep on screaming, oh, we're different, are very different. But your brother, I didn't know evidence. I told you my evidence in the beginning. What evidence? You said that your lecturer said, this. But then I said, what evidence does your lecturer give you? And then you gave exactly no examples. None. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. So I wasn't lying. No. Go on. Because you kept on screaming 20 different points. If you want to have a conversation... You had that. You were looking at it and you couldn't find it. Okay, I'm talking. Don't see those lips moving? That means I'm talking. Yeah. Okay, and don't spray it to me. The time of Jesus Christ was no Britain in that time. One thing is very important. Your sources are weak. That's got nothing to do with the question. You have, you have made the claim. That you have made the claim. You have made the claim that Western law is built on Sharia law, but you've provided no evidence. Because when I did, we started to scream something different. And that's well, get it out. Get it out. I already got it out, but then I returned it because you are way too ignorant. You know, you know what? The reality is, you don't have any evidence. I actually do, and I have Correct. Go on then. What is the evidence? Right. Let, let, let her show us the evidence. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Here's one of the articles that I meant by. Okay, it. right. It's a research stuff I'm done in the Netherlands University show. I did that yeah. by Dr. Yeah. Baker, Dr. Jingring, and Famuk. Yeah. All Dutch researchers. Dutch, yeah. not Muslim. Dutch researchers that even point out those points. So, what, what's the evidence? Are they, are they better what, what's than the evidence? Bukhari? What's the evidence? Are they better than Bukhari? Okay. Are they better than Bukhari? Let me answer your question. If you want to say... Those doctors are better than Bukhari. Are, are you saying this? There's, there's, there's two conversations going on here. The first, the first conversation is whether um, Western law is built on Islamic law, to which we have still not seen any evidence at all. The second, the second conversation that's going on here is, is Western law superior to Islamic law for which we have seen evidence? We've seen evidence that Western law is distinct from Islamic law, and we've seen evidence that Western law is superior to Islamic law, but we have seen zero evidence, not a word of evidence, showing that uh, Western law is built on Sharia law. I literally just showed you. No, you didn't. You didn't. You just quoted. You just gave three names of doctors. No, not even three. Well, what, what's, the what's the paper? What, what's the article? Here, here's the whole right. paper. So here it is. The article is not entitled. That, so you hold the phone if you want to. The article is titled. Sharia law in the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Does that state that That's Western different. law is built on Sharia? Yes. Go, show me. Show, show, show us. Show us the paragraph. Show, show us the evidence. Not gone. a statement or a belief, but the evidence. The evidence. Not a statement of belief. Evidence. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. All right. Wait, wait, wait. She's looking. Yeah. I gave him the sources. The she didn't. You made a claim. Where he get from? You made a claim. Who who created one, two, three, four? Oh, this four. this uh, article. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gave him the names. He already seen it. But it's who? instead of what he did, he just called all out All you've done, all you've done is quote the title of an article, no, no, I'm still the to name of some doctors, but you've given zero evidence. Sharia is an abstract concept for Let's which we found a description of proper is a claim behavior. Okay. Okay? Yep. Closely captured, most respondent understanding. Yeah. Many Muslims in the Netherlands hardly reflect on the correct and inconsistent because we are imperfect people. Okay? Okay. okay. I'm very thirsty, whatever. Um, when we... Uh, hey. What? I'm learning out loud, sir. It's all right. Um, You're doing well, by the way. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah, oh, thanks. Right. Is this your first time in Speaker's Corner? Yeah. Right. I'm actually... So it's, a, it's a heated <laughs> environment. Carry on, go on. Yeah. Let, you, let, you get, let you get to let you get your evidence. Very bad conversation, but okay. Let, let, let you get to your evidence. Um, wait, this is talking something different, sorry. Da, 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 da. Okay. There is no point trying. There is no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, it's here. Just, you know, well, uh, the combination of three aspects yeah, 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 is, is quite possible. Maybe Ali has. Come Ali. Application and simple aspects. Alpha. 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 Al
Go on. Help, to settle uh, in. Ali, come here. Come Go on, ma madam, let, let me hold my microphone no, no, to your worry. mouth it's so fine. that we catch no, your no, voice. No, Go on. No, Fair enough. Um, I just wanted to make sure you were heard. I'm, no, it doesn't matter. But I'm actually, uh, yeah. The removal maneuvers of parties are within the process. Yeah. And even say, after this, uh, World War II, when the laws were very weak, they used upon the rules upon Sharia too. That's a statement. Where's the evidence? Are you blind? No, that's just a statement. It's nah, just, that's, that's how you work. Yeah, that's an facts. opinion. No, 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 no. This is an actual article. An opinion no, no, of an no. article is not this a is fact. This is not how this conversation works. You don't show weird ass, dumb ass screenshots and tell me that's a fact. And then when I tell you an actual yeah. article and then show me that's a fact, that's not a fact. But, but this is a flawed logic. Yeah, I'm right on yeah. Yeah. I can write an essay, miss. Madam, I can, madam, madam, when I was at university, right, as an undergraduate, of course, I wrote many an essay. Mm -hmm. This is an essay of scholars. All that that, that essay, is, all that it, all it's, it's just an article of scholars. <laughs> it doesn't prove it. If I make a statement, the statement is not a fact just because I put it in an article. But that's your logic. You're essentially saying because of the opinion of some scholars. Ali, 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 Ali. So. Ali came to rescue you. 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 Madam, I heard you speak in Arabic. Are you a speaker in Arabic? Are you an Arabic speaker? Yeah, but I was saying. Ali is here to rescue. No, no, no. Ali, Ali, I'm, I'm Ali. So when I come and interrupt your conversations, you won't be complaining, will you? Let's I will say one thing so, and then leave, okay, because so I have a flight. Okay, I'd like to give you a gift for your flight. No, I don't know. You don't want the gift. No. You don't want the gift. No, I don't actually. Fair enough. Okay. That's yeah. Yeah. Sir, I will say one thing. Go on. If you want to know the facts, yeah. give me right sources, first of all. Don't make statements. If I gave you... No, no, no. If I gave you a peer-reviewed so article... Right if yeah. I gave you a peer... No, wait a second. I will make my final statement, sir. Yeah. If I gave you a peer-reviewed article done by not one, three, but it's like six doctors... They're opinions. <laughs> They're opinions. They are. <laughs> Your life is an opinion, that's I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's just an opinion. <laughs> sir, we're ending up... That's just an opinion. Nah, nah, your life is that's just an opinion. <laughs> so, so, what we, what, we, what we saw, ladies and gentlemen... What did we see? What did we see? Don't run we saw arrogance and Muslims ignorance on display. The arrogance and the ignorance combined yes. has actually led someone to make the preposterous claim that European law is based upon Sharia law. That Napoleon went to Egypt, took Sharia law, back to Europe and then spread it around Europe. This demonstrates a fundamental ignorance and arrogance of some Muslim commentators. And what is it based on? It's based upon the opinions of some academics from the Netherlands. As if Yes. As if every European is suddenly ignorant of our own history. As if every European is suddenly ignorant of our own legal tradition. English legal tradition was built upon the idea of common law instituted by Alfred the Great, who was inspired by the Bible in the writing of his laws. Right. European law up to the time of the Enlightenment was equally inspired by the Christian faith. At the Enlightenment, there was a rupture in our legal history. A rupture that redefined the way that the citizen a new invention related to the state in the French Republic and those ideas were pressed around Europe from the time of Napoleon forward. Islamic law and Christian law are very different. Let me give you some examples. In Christian law, adoption is a legal entity. And we Christians are proud of that. Yeah, we are. It gives dignity to orphans. Yes. Right. 
In Islam, yeah. adoption does not exist. Wow. It means that children do not receive the dignity of being received into a family yeah. other than as someone who's been taken care of by a caretaker. In Christian law, men and women are equal in marriage. One man, one woman. Right. But in Islamic law, one man can marry up to four women. That means that there is an unfairness to women in Islamic law that Christian law does not fall into. Right. In Christian law, yeah. there is the idea that the church and the state operate as separate entities. Right. That Christians operate in the secular world and Christians operate in the religious world. Right. This is the fundamental principle of every Western constitution, from America to Poland to Russia. Why? Why? Because of the Christian basis of our understanding of law. Right. It was a new invention that entered into Europe, changing the, the format of Roman law. This distinction does not exist in Islamic law. Nothing. In Islamic law, yeah. I as a Christian would be treated as a second class citizen in Sharia law. What does that mean, Bob? It would mean that if I was killed, yeah. the blood money paid to my family would be half that of the blood money paid if I was killed as a Muslim. Ah. It means that as a Christian, yeah. I would not be fully able to practice my faith under Sharia law. Western media and Western politicians and Western celebrities are virtue signaling to us when they say that all religions teach the same and that all religions act the same. The reality is that is a lie. If you don't believe me, go and look at the government, Her Majesty's government website about the laws in Saudi Arabia and you will see the witness of your own government telling you that Christians do not have equal rights in an Islamic society. In Islam, there are sources that show that female genital mutilation is halal. We read it here in this debate. In the Christian faith, all genital, genital mutilation of children is done away with. There are real differences to your society that are the fruit of the religion that you follow. And it is time that we in the West rediscover our confidence, our conviction, and our commitment to our own tradition and our own Christian worldview. Not just for the good of our lands, but for the good of the Muslim lands as well. Because Saudi Arabia would be better served and the Arabian people would be better served by laws built on the Christian tradition right. than under Sharia law. Right. Yes. Reclaim your confidence, reclaim your conviction, learn your history. Because if you don't, like you saw with that young lady, they will try to rewrite your history if you don't know your history. Any questions? Any questions? This Jewish and me, he know, he know, and he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't like, he don't, no, he don't believe. He know what's happening. Who? Who? Now somehow, from my conversation. This brother said 
Somehow the Jews don't know their law. I don't know why we're talking about the Jews. It's got nothing to do with this conversation. But, but, but the lady, yeah. to prove that, I, I really feel sorry for her. In one way, I admire her, but at the same time, I feel sorry. She proved that what you were saying, that ignorance eh, and also arrogance. Yeah. She, 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 mm. well, she said that she was going to prove, uh, she, uh, prove, uh, provide the pro uh, evidence, but she, she didn't have she none. Failed. Yeah, she, she didn't. No? She did fail. She, so let me, let, me just, let me just bounce off what this brother's saying. Because the lady in question was convinced by a piece of propaganda. Now, I don't know why the propaganda was written, but what I do know is that all she did was quote the opinion of a scholar. So what? Opinions don't equal facts. And this is why I say always that we in the West, and particularly Christians, we must contend for the narrative because there are enemies of our civilization. There are enemies of the church who are propagating their propaganda to diminish us, to weaken our solidarity, to weaken our identity. And if we are not fighting the intellectual battle, we will lose the culture war. Right. By contrast, yeah. Uncle Asif, yeah. a man full of passion yeah. and fire, yeah. was able to demonstrate from Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah. a mainstream Islamic source, that according to Muslims in the past, that female genital mutilation is halal. And what was the woman's reply? What did she say? When I quote my screenshot, you should accept it. But if you quote your screenshot, I shall reject it. Any other questions on the topic? Not a question. Any question on the topic? Any questions on the topic? Okay, lady, go on. What's the question on the topic? You, oh, what was the topic? Yeah. <laughs> Something about the hey, it's about Ukraine. Oh, is it no, we're talking. We're talking. We're talking oh, about. Really we're serious. talking about the fact that a Muslim made a claim. Oh, I don't want to do that. Either. No, he doesn't want to do that. Um, on the que on the topic, yeah. Uh, well, in terms of uh, authority, I mean, I think it's a problem with. Uh, um, uh, let's just say COVID in general. I think the. Um, the the, the trust in the science is, is very similar to this history. What do you think? Well, what, we've, what we see regularly in the park is a difference in the educational systems between West and East. In Western educational systems, we are taught how to think and how to analyze. One of the flaws of Eastern educational systems is that they are taught to repeat and not to question. And we see that again and again and again in the park by the Dai, the Muslim evangelists, who simply repeat what people like Zakia Naik say. And they've never stopped to check if what they have heard is actually true. And they rely on the fact that the person that they're repeating it to has never checked it themselves. We need to rediscover credibility and confidence in our own culture, which means that we actually check the claims that are being made about our civilization. And we check the claims that are being made about Islamic civilization, because we will see time and time again the Dai in the park are lying they are lying about history they're lying about the bible and they're lying about the christian faith and you can simply check that by speaking to knowledgeable christians and picking up a bible yourself go on do you know why the war between athens and sparta started no i don't because the jury system on the court should have been paid and Sparta said no, that the jury system should be a voluntary system. Therefore, the idea of the jury, which were 10 men sitting in courts and making the judgment, 
And I just want to point out why Michael is raising that point. Why, Bob? See because that. the only evidence yeah. that was produced like, by the Muslims in this discussion yeah. was simply yet another unsubstantiated claim. The claim that the West got the jury system from Islam. That's a total lie. The pagans of Greece, before the foundations of the church, were practicing the jury system. And we've seen this narrative again and again by Muslims. They claim that we in the West adopted Islam during the Renaissance, that it came from Islam, and that we took the Enlightenment from Islam. The reality is, our civilization has its own history. And the Western progressive culture has made you ignorant of your own history. It has made you ignorant of your own traditions, your own culture. And we've all developed a culture in the West where we feel embarrassed by the idea of learning about our own culture and our own identity. It's time we throw off such shame and we de rediscover a pride in our Judeo-Christian roots. Right. Any other questions on the topic? Don't be cold. There's a complicity for within ourselves to be to take on the narrative of post-colonial guilt and a, like a you know that it's okay to, it's not okay but it's cult, cultural appropriation if one I don't know wears yeah. a Chinese dress but we don't mind denigrating our own culture to the point of non-existence. Yeah, so it's a perfect question, a great question. The great question that K asks is in the West. Are we being indoctrinated to be ashamed of ourselves? And we are complicit because we simply accept the narrative given to us by our government and by the media and by the celebrities who are telling us in their little village that we should be ashamed of ourselves, that we should be ashamed of our Christian heritage. These cultural Marxist narratives are corrosive and destructive to our ability to stand against Islamization. Islamization is seeking to fill the void created by progressive ideology. And what is the best response to Islamization and the corrosive effects of liberal progressive thought? It is to rediscover a muscular Christian faith, a confident identity in Christ that has not been seen in Europe since medieval times. And we need to rediscover a medieval spirituality and live it out in the modern world, confident in our identity and expressing it in politics, in culture, in economy, in society's traditions. Go on, Mr. Thug wants to ask a question. Go on, Thuggy. Come here, Thuggy. I, I remember one thing. Uh, you mentioned about uh, Zakir Naik. Yeah. Once I heard uh, Mr. Zakir Naik saying that uh, Huris does not have a, 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 a male and female. Yeah. They are. They can be anything. Yeah. They can be anything, male and female. But whereas, uh, whereas uh, Islamic uh, um, uh, sources they say uh, that Huris are female. Yeah. But scholar is saying that uh, uh, Huris have no gender. Well, what we find again and again when we talk to Muslims in the park, the conversation goes like this: okay. Christians make a claim, Muslims say you're lying. 
Christians provide the evidence, Muslims then defend the evidence that they're saying we were lying about. <laughs> and that's how the conversations go again and again and again. All the time. Bro. All the time. I have noticed one day recently, you know. So, one, one example is that the Quran states that Christians and Jews are the worst of creatures. And the Muslim lady denied it. But that's what the Quran actually says. Go on. Let, let him speak and then you speak. When, when they talk in the real, I mean, real Christian, you know, like someone who knows the scripture, yeah. they ask you uh, what is the proof. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, when you take, because they start to know, I think, the truth, yeah. but they don't want to embrace it. Yeah. So now they, they say that, what is your proof? How can I believe it? They yeah. say that. What's the answer from you? Well, I, I find that recently. Like that. It, it, the, the thing is, and I think it's important for people to recognize, English people particularly assume that everybody wants to be fair. We have this disposition to assume fairness on the part of our opponent. But the reality is, the ones, the Dai in this park, are not interested in a fair dialogue. What they're interested in is victory. They're interested in promoting Islam and they're willing to lie to do it. And when we expose them on the lie, when we demonstrate the evidence, when they lie about the Christian faith as they do to a man in this park, when we demonstrate that they're lying about what Christians believe, their, their, their answer is to, their minds just pop because they're not able to deal with what Christians actually believe and they'd much rather attack a straw man. The simple example is... What, what, there's multiple examples, bro. One example is that the Bible has been changed. It's a lie. Another example is that Christians believe in three gods. That's a lie. They say that we Christians believe God changed at the Incarnation. That's a lie. They say that we Christians think that having sex with all and sundry is acceptable to our faith. That's a lie. They say that we Christians, they say that we Christians think that it is that you, once you become a Christian, you can do any kind of immorality and that's acceptable. That's a lie. They say, they say that Muhammad is in the Bible. That's a lie. Again and again and again, the Dai are lying about the Christian faith. The, well, one second. The problem, the problem is that there are not enough Christians who know how to defend the Christian faith. And that is because of the failure of our Christian fellowships that are not teaching us how to defend our faith. Have you got a question? Go on. Is this a question?